As a boy, I loved cars. When I turned 18, I lost my best friend to a car accident, like this. And then I decided I dedicate my life to saving one million people every year. Now, I haven't succeeded, so this is just a progress report, but I'm here to tell you a little bit about self-driving cars. I saw the concept first in the DACA Grand Challenges, where the US government issued a price to build a self-driving car that could navigate a desert. And even though 100 teams were there, these cars went nowhere. So we decided at Stanford to build a different self-driving car. We built the hardware, the software. We made it learn from us. And we set it free in the desert. And the unimaginable happened. It became the first car to ever return from a Dark Man challenge, winning Stanford $2 million, yet I still hadn't saved a single life. Since our work has focused on building driving cars that can drive anywhere by themselves, any street in California, we've driven 140,000 miles. Our cars have sensors by which they magically can see everything around them and make decisions about every aspect of driving. It's the perfect driving mechanism. We've driven in cities, like in San Francisco here. We've driven from San Francisco to Los Angeles on Highway 1. We've encountered joggers, busy highways, tall booths. And this is without a person in the loop. The car just drives itself. In fact, while we drove 140,000 miles, people didn't even notice. Mountain roads, day and night, and even crooked Lombard Street in San Francisco. <laughs> Sometimes our cars get so crazy, oh goodness, they even the right do uh, the little stunts. Oh my god! <laughs> what? It's driving itself. <laughs> now, I can't get my friend Harold back to life, but I can do something for all the people who died. Did you know that Driving accidents are the number one cause of death for young people. And do you realize that almost all of those are due to human error and not machine error, and can therefore be prevented by machines? Do you realize that we could change the capacity of highways by a factor of, of two or three if we didn't rely on human precision on staying in the lane, but on robotic precision? and thereby drive a little bit closer together on a little bit narrower lanes and do away with all traffic jams on highways? Do you realize that you, TED users, spend an average of 52 minutes per day in traffic, wasting your time uh, on your daily commute? You could regain this time. This is four billion hours wasted in this country alone and it's 2.4 billion gallons of, of, of gasoline wasted. Now, I think there's a vision here, a new technology, and I'm really looking forward to a time when generations after us look back at us and say how ridiculous it was that humans were driving cars. Thank you.